If I told you that one tiny company could be about to change the energy industry forever and that it's trading for just a dollar, would you be intrigued? This little known Aussie company says it's found a way to transform fossil fuels into clean energy. Think about that for a second. That's huge. Currently, this company is so small that hardly anyone knows about it, which is why its stock is still so cheap. And that means there's the potential for incredible returns if and when this company's tech goes mainstream. This clean energy breakthrough stock is just one of seven promising Aussie companies on our radar at the moment. To get the full details on all of them, click the link below now. G'day there, uh, welcome to the closing bell on the 6th of November. Um, today I'm going to focus on gold because I think we're getting pretty close to a nice spike in gold and uh, yeah the gold stocks are certainly still pretty beaten up so uh, I think there is an opportunity brewing out there. Uh, I may be a little early but um, I'm uh, definitely putting the stake in the ground as I said in the article um, that I think we're pretty close to a nice move so I thought I'd just show you um, what I'm seeing and uh, give you a few of the stocks that I think are looking all right at the moment. Uh, so we've got a lot to get through, so let's get stuck into it. Uh, first of all, we have the uh, gold price here, the long-term gold price, obviously over the last um, 20 or so years, uh, just so you can get the big picture on this. Um, the main thing I want to point out today is looking at the uh, waves that we've seen to the upside um, over this uh, rally and just pointing out that the correction which has been the last 15 months uh, you know it's it's certainly been enough to kick uh, the um, gold stocks to the curb their margins getting a bit crunched and uh, obviously a lot of people getting a bit tired of them uh, but the fact is that pullback is not really that much um, if I have a look at the uh, wave to the upside here. I mean, it hasn't even had a 50% retracement. I won't do the exact calculations, uh, but the 50% is down around here. Um, so we haven't even had a 50% correction of that wave and it's been 15 months uh, in. So if that is it for the correction, you know, it really the price has held up pretty well um, considering and uh, considering it's had such a massive rally um, over the last few years. Um, so if it does turn up from here, you know, the gold price all up is still looking really good. Um, so now I'll just quickly take you into uh, the shorter term chart. Now I'm recording this on the uh, Friday afternoon. So uh, gold price is currently around 1795, still below um, 1800. And really, uh, I've gone through this with you before, uh, but the 1835 region, really, that's where I think we're going to see uh, sort of a rapid move to the upside in gold. And look, we're not there yet. Um, there's no doubt about that. But just in this last uh, week, it's been interesting for me uh, to see on this uh, weekly chart, if I really go in nice and close for you, so you can just see how this uh, trend in the short term is actually developing. And uh, we have the uh, low, lowest bar of the move on the weekly there and the high of that bar coming in here. So there we have the uh, buy pivot is that next bar. Uh, when we had a weekly close, which was above the high of that lowest price candle. This is just for people who want to learn about this stuff. Um, so you're following along. Uh, and then we're watching the price action since then, that, that buy pivot candle for me is the important thing to watch. And we've seen a lot of volatility around um, that buy pivot, but uh, we are seeing the buying pressure come in uh, where I'd expect to see it, around the buy zone of that um, weekly buy pivot. So the support is there, and that's sort of what I wanted to see, um, this sort of attempted rally from here uh, a couple of times, um, showing you that that weekly trend is alive and well. Um, if we th see things turned down and that's negated, then that's all well and good. But I'm just seeing uh, the signs I want to see in the short term uh, of where I'd like to see the buying pressure. And that uh, bigger picture, uh, as I've shown you before, this being the whole correction of the move. And I'm just really focusing in on uh, that buy zone area of that wave. 
Uh, and just seeing over the last few months, we've had a few attempts to move out of here. It's failed to do so. I'm really looking at this as a potential third time lucky, uh, where if we do break out above that sort of uh, around the 18, 10 to 15 region, there's just a lot of dominoes set up, uh, which I think will take us through that 1835 area. And it should have a nice little spike. And look, it could even uh, be ready for a big spike. Uh, if that was to happen, the gold stocks would really take off. Um, so I guess I'm just saying that we're at that point now uh, we're a bit more buying pressure in this gold price and it should set off a little chain reaction and we should see a nice uh, move to the upside. So moving on to the gold stocks, um, look, the first three I'm showing you are actually uh, members of the uh, Pivot Trader portfolio. They're large cap stocks. I don't think it's going to matter too much showing you these. I'm going to show you six stocks quickly and give you a, a quick overview of them. Uh, this one being Silver Lake Resources, quite a large cap um, gold stock. Uh, obviously, it's in a in a nice strong trend, isn't it, uh, on the monthly charts? But you can see the negative is that the 10 month exponential has actually dipped below the 20 month simple. So, from that point of view, it's saying it is in downtrend. Uh, but the thing I like to watch uh, is based on that 20 month uh, simple moving average, I have the, uh, you can see the one standard deviation Bollinger Band are those white lines there, the two standard deviation Bollinger Band is there, those two lines. And then I've got the three standard deviation Bollinger Band there. So that's sort of like a uh, looking at the trend uh, when it is rallying. I quite like to see pullbacks heading back into that one to two standard deviation below uh, the 20 uh, months simple moving average. If I get nice reversals out of there, I just feel a bit more confident. And uh, if we do see prices cracking below that uh, three standard deviation below the uh, 20 month uh, simple moving average, that's when I'm getting nervous. So, you know, below sort of 80 to 90 cents in uh, Silver Lake, I'd be running away pretty quickly. Uh, but we have had uh, a nice uh, pullback over this last year and a half. A lot of people shaken out of this. And we've seen a, a slight retest and a monthly. Uh, buy pivot just last month. So I like to see that. Um, you know, we may still see a bit more weakness because we have been correcting for a while, uh, but I'd be a, a buyer on the back foot uh, in this one around that 140 to 150 region, um, expecting to see uh, a bit of a move back to the upside and that uh, uptrend to resume. Evolution Mining is another one uh, that has had quite a big correction and the moving averages have turned down. Uh, but prices are in that sort of area I like to see. So you can see with this long-term trend, there's your 20-month simple moving average, always great support uh, in a strong trend. And you can see prices bouncing off that area on multiple occasions. Uh, but uh, when uh, the trend breaks, it doesn't mean it's all over. You've got this second area of support, I guess I could say, uh, which is at one to two standard deviation below. Uh, that Bollinger Band. So it's definitely in that area that I like to see uh, reversals from. And also the other thing going in its favour, uh, if we do see you know, a nice close back above that low um, from a correction that occurred in early 21, it's going to start looking like an ABC correction to me, where you've got that uh, A leg down to the low there, and you've got the B leg here. Oh, sorry, get rid of that. and then the C leg down here, and you get the overlap. Once things turn back up, that's often the beginning of another wave to the upside. So that ABC structure is one thing that's jumping out at me, uh, but we haven't had the monthly buy pivot yet. Um, so the more conservative would be waiting for a monthly close above the high of that lowest price candle. That would then create overlap with that correction low. And then all of a sudden uh, this thing can start to head higher, uh, you know, below that sort of 250 area is where I'd probably uh, run away, thinking that uh, it's not looking too good. Um, but it's just setting itself up here um, for a bit of a mean reversion uh, move back to that 20 month uh, around four bucks 80. Um, so yeah, the conservative would wait for the monthly buy pivot. And uh, the others, you know, if gold prices start to uh, pick up, 
you know, maybe you're, you're having a few of those. Perseus is probably one of the strongest looking uh, gold stocks out there. And, you know, often you want to buy strength uh, rather than thinking the weak stocks are the ones to pick up as a bargain. Uh, and that one, you know, growing uh, their production massively over the next few years, they'll be spitting out lots of cash. And if gold prices really take off, um, this one uh, can run a long way. And look, it's already uh, back up at the highs um, of the move. So, you know, this uh, stock is, as you can imagine, a lot stronger than most of the other stocks out there. So you're being forced to buy this thing at the highs of the move. Uh, but if gold prices um, really do take off, I think this one will trend and probably outperform a lot of the other stocks because there's obviously uh, a lot of keen buyers out there. Uh, it makes it a tougher trade, I must admit, um, because it is so strong. Uh, probably if it's uh, trading under a buck, um, you know, you're getting nervous. But again, if you look at that big picture, uh, that's actually back in that area where I like to be a buyer, that one to two standard deviation below um, the 20 month simple moving average. So really it's down uh, around 80 cents where that one's starting to look bad. Um, so, you know, uh, yeah, big picture, you'd have to take it on and, and have a pretty big stop loss uh, because it, it can still uh, do a lot and still look uh, very good, um, even on a big correction. Gold Roads is another one that's um, performing pretty well uh, compared to other gold stocks out there. It's obviously in a very nice trend. Uh, you can see as, as an example that one to two standard deviation uh, Bollinger Band below the 20 month simple moving average. We've already seen um, buying pressure out of there and uh, it is holding up pretty well. Um, it hasn't quite created the monthly buy pivot and this is where resistance will come in. Uh, so, you know, we may see a bit more downside volatility, but, um, you know, you're a buyer on, on any weakness, I'd say. And again, uh, falling down below that 80 cent region and uh, she's not looking too good. Um, so that would be how I'd look at that one. SBM is probably one where I would wanna be a bit more conservative. Uh, it certainly looks good to me, but it is one of the ones that is quite weak. Um, so I'd be looking at this one, uh, you know, the, the last major wave it had from 2015 to 2019, you know, we're looking at that uh, buy zone area, which is quite a wide range. And it's only right on the tip of that buy zone right now. Um, and it is still pretty weak, uh, but the setup is there that if we get the rotation, if we have the false break of that 2020 low and we get the monthly buy pivot uh, on a, a monthly close above, I'll even give you the level um, is $1.63. So a monthly close above $1.63 and all of a sudden this chart is going to look uh, very different. Um, it will you know, have a monthly buy pivot off a major buy zone, uh, a false break of that low, and we'd be looking for a mean reversion move uh, back to above $2.50. Um, so you know, if gold prices pick up, um, you could expect to see uh, SBM coming back to life, uh, but it's not quite there yet. Uh, Newcrest Mining is another one that uh, is not quite there yet, uh, but you can see again, uh, we're flirting with that area, which I like that one to two standard deviation uh, below uh, the 20 month simple moving average uh, in the Bollinger Bands. It's attempting to uh, rally out of here, but it's um, not done a great job of it yet. Um, if I'm looking at these waves as well, um, we can look at the most recent wave to the upside and sort of analyze, you know, what's been going on there. Uh, you know, lots of buying out of that buy zone back to the point of control and lots of selling in the sell zone uh, back to the point of control. And here we are, this is, you know, another temp, uh, attempt which hit that point of control. And this is, again, we're trying again to bounce out of this area. So a monthly buy pivot from here in uh, Newcrest Mining and all of a sudden, uh, that will start to look like it's trying to head back up. And there's a pretty clear line in the sand for this one. You know, below uh, the low of that wave would be looking dodgy. And you can see there as well, um, I'd be looking at around sub 20 bucks, uh, 19 bucks. Um, I'd say uh, you'd probably run away from Newcrest. Um, but uh, yeah, that's not too much of a risk to take um, when you're considering the fact that gold could be uh, ready for a, a big move to the upside from here. 
um, but no promises, of course. Um, so that's enough for today. Um, quite a lot to get through there for you to have a look at and to think about. Let's see where the gold can really take off um, up through that 1835 area. And look, if you're interested in what I'm doing, uh, just check out uh, my services. Um, click on the links below the video. Um, Australian Small Cap Investigator and also a Pivot Trader that I run. Um, check them out, join, become a member, and uh, we'll start trading together. All right, well, that's enough. I'll come back with more next week. Cheers. Cheers.